the liquid chicken. All right, guys, we have made it to steamy hot Bangkok. We are no longer in Pattaya. Uh, we did the drive up. It took about an hour and a half in a private car. Uh, we arrived a little early here on Sukhumvit near Nana Plaza, Soy 4. A little early to check into our hotel, so we went and had some lunch. Now I'm walking back to the hotel to check in. I mean, don't you love the tuk-tuks? I love Bangkok. It's amazing. So anyway, we're here for about a day and a half. We have one full day and night, one night in Bangkok, uh, before we have to go to the airport tomorrow evening. So uh, we're going to bring you along, let you see the sights and sounds of Sukhumvit, Soy 4, maybe Soy Cowboy, maybe Pat Pong Night Market. Not 100% positive, but uh, no matter what we're going to do, it's going to be vibrant and alive and exciting. So come along with us. Welcome to Bangkok. Cool, that looks cool. Bangkok is definitely 20 degrees hotter with half the wind. <laughs> but I love it. All right, here's what you get for $20 a night on Soy 4 Nana Plaza, right off Sukhumvit, Bangkok color choice. Interesting. Sort of a British green pea with red ketchup. You got a refrigerator. You got a coffee pot and some stuff. You got a little desk area. TV, air con, mirror, workstation. The view is uh, obviously incredible. That's the street Soy 4 down there so it promises to be fairly noisy. And at least they've really paid attention to detail and the cleaning. <laughs> the cleaning is good. Um, other than that, I mean, tile floors, good size bed. I'd say that's a king size bed. Yeah. Again, the color pattern or choices are very interesting. We've got orange, red, green pea, gray. Here's the bathroom. It's like a nice big stand-up shower, a rain shower. Green tile. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. I mean, I'll take it. What is this little thing? Oh. Oh, do not dispose of toilet paper down the toilet. And then, of course, you have your bone gun over there. Interesting. All right. All in all. All in all, not bad, not bad at all for, like I said, tw roughly 20 US dollars a night. Welcome to Bangkok. All right guys, we are here at Pat Pong Night Market. Let's check it out.
Well, old Pat Pong definitely ain't what it used to be. Sort of a failed red light district that's been here since the late 60s to a night market, but it's definitely seen better days. But it's definitely, it's still worth checking out. I got some good deals. You might could too. So this, is, so this is weird. After walking from Nana Plaza to Soy Cowboy, we stopped at a pizza place to have some pizza, which is good. But I had to use the bathroom. And they're like, go in that building and use the bathroom. And what's weird is, it's, a, it's like abandoned and closed. There's nobody in this place but me. It's very strange, a little scary. It's like something out of a, scary horror movie. If I don't make it back from the bathroom alive, guys, at least you know that I died right next to Soy Cowboy 
in some closed mall where I'm the only human. There might be monsters. I'm scared. Yeah, this is a little creepy. I'm the only human in here. I feel like I'm breaking the law. I'm about to get arrested. Very strange. Definitely the most alone I've felt in Thailand to date. It's like red rum and the shining. Very interesting. Alright. Follow. Welcome to Soy Cowboy. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna end our night in Nana Plaza slash Soy Cowboy here at the old standby 7-Eleven. And we're gonna get something delicious. It's gonna be good, cheap, and fast. <laughs>